Let phi from g to k be a group homomorphism. We're going to prove that phi is one to one if and only if the kernel of phi is equal to the set containing the identity element of g. So proof. Before we start the proof, let me remind you what the kernel of phi is. So the kernel of phi, it is the set of all of the x's in g such that phi takes x and maps it to the identity element in k. So to start the proof, let's uh, go ahead and assume phi is one to one. So suppose phi is one to one. And the claim is that the kernel of phi is equal to this set here. So take any x in the kernel of phi. Then, what does it mean to be in the kernel? That means phi takes x to the identity in k. However, phi also takes the identity in g to the identity in k. Right? That equation is also true. But phi is 1 to 1. Whence x is equal to the identity element in g. So we took an x in the kernel and we showed that it was equal to the identity. So every single x is the identity. Thus, the kernel of phi, well, it's contained in this set, so it must be equal to that set. Now let's suppose that the kernel of phi is equal to the set containing the identity. So suppose that the kernel of phi is equal to the set containing the identity. And the claim is that it's one to one. So assume that phi of x is equal to phi of y for some x, y, and g. And we have to show that x is equal to y. So the natural thing to do is to rewrite this equation. You can multiply this on the right by phi y inverse. So you could write it as follows. So then you can write this as phi x phi y inverse equals the identity element in k. Phi is a group homomorphism. So we can rewrite this as follows. So phi of x, y inverse is equal to the identity element in k. Well, this is precisely what it means for x, y inverse to be in the kernel. So x, y inverse is in the kernel of phi, which is equal to the set containing the identity element in g. So this forces... x, y inverse to be equal to the identity element in g. Hence, x is equal to y. Right? Just multiply both sides of this equation by y on the right, and you have x is equal to y. So we started with phi of x equal to phi of y, and we showed that x was equal to y. That's precisely what it means for phi to be 1 to 1. So this shows phi is 1 to 1. And that's it.